God is going to give you a wife that meets all the conditions that must be met so that you're not tempted beyond what you can bear. But God is also going to give you a wife that he has purposely orchestrated to not meet some of the most important conditions for you. She may, by God's purpose, literally not be what you want in the areas where she, you most wanted her to be that. Why? Well, let's just ask a question. How can you learn unconditional love if you're married to someone who meets all the conditions? And we can turn that around same way with your husband. You know, you may have wanted certain things and then you're sad the rest of your life because of unmet expectations. He never turned out to be what I wanted him to be. You see, what what this is really all about, it's marriage is about reflecting the love of Christ and the responsiveness of the church. So man is to love his wife, but the wife is to respond to that. But if we get into the thing of I'll respond when he loves or I'll love when he responds, well, that's like eye for an eye and tooth for a tooth. And pretty much everybody's walking around blind with no teeth. You see, the whole idea is this whole thing is. And men, the primary responsibility is on us. You say, well, I will love my wife this way when she respects me. Yeah, but there's a real problematic text in 1 John. Why do we love him? Because he loved us first. You see that?